Welcome to the office. Welcome back. Thank you. We're on visit number four. four. Yeah. So what did you come in for? Uh, my jaw and my posture and headaches. Um, tailbone? My, oh yeah, my tailbone also. <laughs> okay. So tell me, how are the headaches? Not existent. What are you talking about? Like, yeah, literally. I, um, I mean, what, I haven't cracked, self-cracked in four days. And how often were you self-cracking before? <sighs> like, whenever I thought about it, which yeah. is... A year? Two years? Three years? Oh, four um, years. how long was I? A couple years? Forever, yeah. Okay. Since I can remember, honestly. How um, long have you had headaches? Um, since like middle school. And you haven't had a headache since we started? Oh, I have. But like, once, once I stop self-cracking, mm -hmm. then it just like, they just go away. So self-cracking caused your headaches. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you an exercise for those of you who like to self-crack. Okay? okay, it's a very, very simple exercise. You take your two fingers, I'm gonna do it from the side here. Take your two fingers and you're gonna push back, not down, you're gonna push back, hold it for four seconds, slowly release, slowly release. And what you'll feel, push back, you're gonna feel the tightness here, you're gonna feel the posterior musculature tightening up. And by doing that, you won't feel the need to crack as much. Okay? Okay, good to know. Jaw. Oh, yeah. We, we didn't get it on video, mm -hmm. but we cracked once. And twice. how did it do? Um, great, yeah. I mean, I, you know, still have some ways to go, of course, but... We can go for it today? Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah, I think so. Let's do it. So, part of the lesson here is we have physical and emotional stuff we hold in our body, right? And sometimes we don't actually know it. And I barely touched it. First visit. Starting at the base of the neck. And we're still getting that occiput up top. Ten points. Yeah, like I'll feel myself like I want to crack because it almost gets like tight, it feels like up here. I don't know how to explain it. And we talked about your posture, right? Mm -hmm. As we're working on the posture, the need to do that will get less. And as this, watch, bring your belly button in and up. Okay. Bring in and up. Sit up straight. This is your ideal posture, okay? And in this position, shoulders are over the hips. In this position, you probably don't feel the tightness. Mm -hmm. Relax to the other position. You feel the difference. Sit up straight. A little bit. Okay. T2, 10 points. Now, it looks here, guys, that it's going to break, but it... Watch, watch this. It's going to now go right. <laughs> That's compensation. This is all swelling right here. This is swelling from the sacrum. As we're working on that tailbone, this should go down. Down in S3, S4. Left side. Let's check this again to make sure. There it is. Sacral chakra. It's not the actual sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is down here, but in the tattoo. It's around T9 and T10. Let's do static palpation. Head down, please. And what I want you guys to see here is as we start down the spine, the swelling starts right there. And you can see the puffiness keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. And then it kind of shifts. Some of it goes in there, some of it continues. And watch this. You can see it's going into the tailbone. This is swelling inflammation. If we go on the right side, 
not as bad, but it's there and everything pulls in her tailbone and her sacrum. Feet together, open and close the knees with your feet touching. Open wide and close. Open, close. Right side only. Keep going. As she does the right, there's a little bit of movement on the left. Left side only. But there's also movement on the right. So we're still going to continue on her tailbone. Scoop back for me, please. Head down. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. More tender at ten or nine. Back slowly. That's nine. Ten's not moving. Yeah, I'd say it's about the same. Ten or eleven. Not eleven. Mm -hmm. Starts yeah. there. Then right, then left. Oh, right there. Right Ten. There. Seven. One. Two. Two on the left. Head down, please. Right there. Let's go ahead and motion. Turn left, turn right. Look up, this is divorce test. Turn left, turn right. Head down, turn left, right there. Turn right. Now, primary motion of the atlas is rotation of the cervical spine. Primary motion of the occiput is nodding. So it's the up and down motion here. Right side, left side. You feel the difference there? Yeah. This side, right? Left. Mm -hmm. Occiput left, T2. T2 we're going to set as a, oh this is going to be fun. T2 is a PLS side slip. It's going to be a little spicy today. 10 is a PLS also. And sacrum, the way we're going to do your sacrum, we're going to do it left side down and we're going to bring that sacrum up on the right side. If you look over here, we're looking at the tailbone. You can see it's dropped seven millimeters on the right. We want to start to bring that tailbone up today. And then we're going to take a look at the jaw. Okay. We've got the Texas wiggle going right now. we still got the little side to side. <laughs> Keep walking. The Texas thing. Walk on your toes, please. Turn around, walk on your heels. You can see the imbalance more when she walks on her heels. The foot is like right here. Foot's you right. feel it on the left ankle? Mm hmm kind of. Yeah, and that's because she has an AS talus on the left side. Regular walking, please. Regular walking. Stop there. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a couple of steps back. Good. And I'm going to teach you guys something different. I actually learned this in school. We're going to talk about Taylor tilt, okay? Or Taylor neutral. Taylor neutral is I'm going to be on your talus, your ankle bone. And ideally, when we're looking at the ankle bone, I'm using the right model here, guys. Okay, so this is the right foot. Taylor neutral is, talus should be neutral. When we have misalignment of the talus, it goes anterior superior, it can tilt either on the medial or lateral side. When we're just looking at her feet, and you can see an end face here, let's look end face. And end face, you can see, this looks more normal. Here it looks high on this side, and it's causing her to tilt out, and so she's pronating to compensate, okay? Now, Taylor neutral is this. I'm going to place my finger on the talus on both sides. I'm going to place it here too. And what I want you to do, right now I can already feel this is out. Put your hands on your hips. And I'm going to have you do this. I'm going to say rotate left when I ask you to, please. And then rotate right. And we're going to feel where is the neutral. This is Taylor neutral test. Go ahead and rotate to the right slowly. Okay, stop. Right there is where her right ankle is in neutral. Her left is still not in neutral. Keep going right. Okay. Go left slowly, please. Turn to the left. Rotate to the left. Keep going. Keep going. Right there is her neutral. And do you see where your body is? Yeah. Okay, so you have to be in this position for her ankle to be neutral. 
So that's, we need to be perfectly balanced on that foot pretty correct. much. Correct. And um, that's coming from what? Uh, that's coming from compensation of the short leg, plus we're going to look at the talus and we're going to work on your ankles today as well. Okay? Huh. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Taylor neutral. It's a nice, easy test, guys, to test for foundation and balance. So if Taylor neutral is you're rotated this way, Nine times out of ten, there's going to be some sort of pelvic imbalance. S4, counterclockwise torque. Stabilization is on the shaft of the femur. Dorsiflex on the knee. There. You good? Oh. Gotcha. Baby. Yeah. Went up. Oh, baby pop. Let's go fatty face down over the place. We've got to get a little more off. Hands here, palms above, receive. Good. Good. There it is. Relax the knee, relax the shoulder, bring the head up a tiny bit. There, right there. Good. Oh! Gotcha. T2. T2 is a side slip. We're going to start with the side slip on the opposite side. There you go. Oh my. Root, sacrum, solar. Keep going. I don't know. I can't even. Gotcha. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh my God. I'm not slow with this. Let's walk it off. And then we're going to go on the knee chest table. Oh. Oh, okay. T10 we're going to set as a PLS. We're going to do a thumb pisa form. Five, four, three, two, one, twelve, eleven, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Peels. All the way down. All the way down. You're doing good. All the way down. Home run. I'm holding. Four, three, two, one. Oh my god. That's the stress button. Yeah. Come up slowly, please. Oh my god. Let's walk it Pissed. It's gonna it's gonna force you to sit upright. If you try to okay. slouch, it's gonna hurt. Oh wow. Okay, watch. Okay. Come back, I'll show you. Come over here, have a seat. I think I'm joking. Sit up straight. Check this out from the back. Now look at this is good posture, okay? Now go ahead and slouch. Doesn't feel as good, does it? Yeah, I mean if you sit up straight, it should feel better. Check this out. Swelling is down. Okay. You ready for more? Yeah. Occiput, PS, LS. Chin back, chin down, back. On the super mastoid notch, using the soft fleshy pisiform, lock it out, and she's flexible, so you gotta find that sweet spot. Look, and look. Gotcha. Oh my god. Uh, oh, like, oh my god, like right in there. It's like, it feels like it's behind my skull almost. It's so weird. That's what I did though. Check uh. it out. I just repositioned your left skull. 
This is what I did. Here you go. This is the occiput. So we were right here. We adjusted its back and up on the right. I just repositioned your skull. Wow, no, it literally feels like that. That's crazy. Oh. Check your jaw now. Okay, slowly open. There it is. So in her case, she has a double compensated jaw. Close, slowly open. Right comes out first. Left compensates, right then compensates, then the left. So, we're going to work on what happens on fully opening. Go ahead and fully open. We're still working on that. So, we're going to work on the right, left, right. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Condal block, stabilize the cervical spine. Okay. Remember, if it's too much, you tell me. Okay. Just raise the hand. Okay. Open all the way. Open. 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 Close halfway. Hold there, please. Applying pressure right to left. You're doing great. Mm. Close a little more. Applying pressure left to right. Mm. That's it. Yeah. Did you do it? I did most of it. Oh, okay. I can do it again. I was just, it was mostly like a flailing. Whew. Look up. Oh, okay. Open. Oh. open, slow. Okay, open again all the way. Open, open, open. Close halfway. Mm. Hold. Mm. Right to left side. Oh. I'm. Ow! Oh, it hurts. You can do it. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Okay, I need to do one more. You gonna give it to me? Yeah, is it just like that? It's a little different. I'm gonna guide the left side in now, okay? Okay. Look up. Open all the way. Open, open. Slowly close, close. There it is. I got you. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Close. There, come on, you can do it. Almost. There it is. Almost. You got it. That's it. Got it. That's it. right now? It doesn't hurt. This kind of hurts. Right, right side is? Okay, can I do the machine on the right side? Mm -hmm. If it's too much, just raise the hand, okay? Okay. Five. Four. Three. Down. Let it down. 
on your back, please. So we're looking at our ankles now. And when we're looking at the ankles, feet together, go ahead and bring the toes all the way back. And we said we, and you can see this even this way. You can see this one turns in more. This is an AS talus, medial tilt right there. Oh. Tender. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh. How about that one? Oh. Both tender. <laughs> All right, so we got to work the ankles. We're going to prep the joint, a little bit of lotion. Okay. And we're going to be working what's called a periarticular swelling. It's as much as you can handle. Okay. I need to do this. If I do this, ankle will hold better. Okay. And you can, there's a little nub right there. You feel that? Uh -huh. That's an old ankle sprain. Oh, okay. Right there. Five, four, three. Oh. We have a left tibia issue there, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's, that's next time. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do dorsiflexion, plantar. Dorsiflex, we're prepping the joint. First part was periarticular swelling, that's the swelling around the joint. This is inter or interarticular swelling between the joints. You okay? Yeah. Five. Let it go, let it go, let it go. AS talus, maybe a tilt. There. Relax the ankle. Slide up a little more. Relax there. Whoa. We'll have to use the board. Whoa. Five. Four. You mean beep? Beep. 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 Three, two. Okay. Let's do it. Let's use the speeder board and get the feet dialed in. Nope, you're good going back. Sound is the board, not your foot breaking, okay? Relax there. Fabula. Raise your right. AS talus. Close to your fifth. Turn to your Side, calcaneus, navicular, other side place, calcaneus, navicular, on your stomach. We're doing the inferior second cuneiform coming off the third digit. Third digit, same thing. Gotcha. Walk it out, yo. Walk it out. As you're walking, tell me what's different, if anything, please. It does feel like smoother. The walking feels a little smoother? Yeah. Walk on your toes. Come over here, please. Walk on your heels. Let's see what's different. A little different. Walk on your toes. Regular walking. Okay. Have a seat, please. Ears. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Still a tiny bit up there. <sighs> Sit back for me, please. That's posterior arch. <sighs> gotcha. So that's right. Oh my God. <laughs> you got that today. Yeah. Okay, let's recheck. Clear. 
T2 is clear. T10 is clear. Wait for it. Wait for it. Sacrum is clear. Back slowly towards me. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Wow. Different? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Heavens yeah. Heavens yeah. Heavens yeah. Okay. Stand up, please, and let's do the hands. Squeeze. 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 Elbow. Relax that. What? <laughs> Guess what? Okay. What? Relax the hand. Gotcha. Elbow. Wrist. Ooh. Thumb. Uh. We're all set. Hey, thank you. Okay. Mm. See you next visit. Yes.